Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Southbound Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about two new baits from Big Boy Baits. The paddle stick and the original darter. So, the uh, the baits I'm doing here, as you can see, it's plaster mold, but it's two-piece. So I can make full around injection style baits out of out of clay masters. These are all clay masters. And, um, and uh, produce those baits that are fully round with injection ports if I need to inject I can but most of the time I just hand pour because these are just straight baits and um, and have that fully round feel so I'm gonna show you how these work I'm gonna heat up a little batch real quick we're gonna do a new custom color of formula I've been working on for a little bit and we're, it's gonna be the uh, the original color in this these new darter bait the, the paddle stick that's pretty much any color works for that but we're gonna make a real special a uh, special color for this for this darter. So I'm gonna get heated up to plastic. I'm gonna pull about a half, half cup out. Caney Creek original. Throw a couple formulas in. Special additives for this darter bait. I don't use just straight plastic. I have a little formula for it. Special additives and stuff, just to make my signature. That's I'm no, you know, I'm not too secretive about my colors or anything. Some people are, but I'm never really. I mean, if someone can reproduce the color, go for it. But my formulas I use for the material of each bait is something I'll keep to myself. So that's the formula right there. We're gonna put it in the microwave for about probably about a minute, 30 to two minutes, just till it gets up to 10 and it's clear. And then I'll, we will show you how to make this color. So stay tuned, guys. All right, now we have our plastic heated up about the consistency of milk so it's good stuff here let it drain out and then we're gonna start working on this new color colors called Key West a little good tropical color for you we add one drop of grape mix it up, all it does is just give it a nice pinkish purplish hue and then we take my little blend of flake here. <clears throat> Corner of shad flake. Stuff goes a long way. Don't need a lot of that. I don't I don't mix each glitter in individually because I got a formula for it. I do it all at the end. A little bit of teal flake. It's a nice blue teal. It's a lure craft flake. A little bit of Caney Creek Gunmetal 15. Not a ton. That can overpower your your uh, color real fast, that gunmetal is strong stuff. And then we come to the two that are focused on really, is the Bears Purple 15 and the Caney Creek Hollow Purple 40, which is the main flake of the bait. So there's that. And then also, at the very end, we throw in a little bit of sea green highlight or sea green flake, just a tiny little tap of that. That's a real nice baby bass looking flake. And then we also round it off with the blue highlight. If I can find it somewhere in here. You just gotta locate it. That's just pearl powder. Where's my blue? There it is. Blue highlight. Look at on my rack real quick. But again, with this stuff, just a little bit goes a long way. That's all we need. Just a tiny little bit. And this is uh, this is going to come out to a real nice color. You guys are going to really like this. It's so good for a lot of things. Drop shot, just normal rigging it like a fluke. It's just a little bit of a different than your just pearl or bone or baby bass flukes. Try something a little bit different. Get bit pretty hard. So let me peel this little excess bit off my spoon. And we can get to mixing this all together for you. Here. There's the new color, Key West. Real good stuff. Now, I'm going to move it up to the mold. Show you how I do this. I'm just going to take my uh, Key West right here. Pour it straight in. I'm just hand pouring right now. No need for injection. Top it off, top it off.
Okay. There we go. They're all cooling. I'll give you another little look at that color. There's that Key West color. It's good stuff right there, guys. That is good, seriously good stuff for drop shot, Texas rig, a bunch of stuff. We'll wait till these baits cool, and I'll show you how I modify each one and what I can do to each one, especially the darter, to really make it pop. So thanks for watching. All right, guys, got the baits right here out of the mold, prepped, ends are sealed. I seal the ends on all my injection baits where I have to cut off the sprue, so you got a nice even end there for you for screw lock or extra wide gap hook rigging. There is, I didn't seal the end on this one because I'll show you why I didn't. Um, there's the original darter, a bit soft, very soft actually. It actually is a pretty round, it's a pretty thick bait. It's almost the size of a, I don't know, a Sharpie, you know? It's about the thickness of that. And then it tapers down to just a normal, normal tail. But this thing is so good for uh, so many purposes, really. It's just crazy how, and how versatile this bait is. About 30 more seconds in the microwave while I get this thing prepped for my process I'm about to show you. Now, a lot of people are going to be throwing this on a drop shot and a fluke system. This thing is amazing as a fluke, guys. It walks the dog. I got a three pound blow up at my pond where I never catch anything on. That same pond from the Carolina rig video. Um, I was so surprised to catch a one pound fish in there. I got like a three pounder blow up on this thing when I wasn't even expecting it, product testing it. So uh, this bait is so good as a fluke. It walks the dog like crazy. It's gonna be a great drop shot bait, shaky head bait, uh, fluke tight bait, Carolina rig. There's so many. Jig head for salt water, you know, weight whistles for salt water. There's so many things. So right now I got my uh, my Key West color heated up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop eyes on this thing. Only the, my my uh, my supplier of eyes, Caney Creek Molds. They make some of the best eyes in the game. 3D three color eyes. So I just grab one of them off the little sheet here, find it, and just pop it right on there. So it's stick, and I grab the next eye, and what I do is I coordinate it with the bit to find out where the eye is, and put it right down on the other side of it, right there, perfect. So now we got a bait with eyes, and we're just going to take this cup, stir it in one more time, and then just dip it just to seal the eyes in. We just dip the head, let it run off dip it again, let it run off. So it's just a, tri a double dipped head with uh, eyes on there. And this really does make for an amazing minnow presentation. I mean, everyone, guys, if you fish saltwater, if you fish freshwater, if you fish for white bass, if you fish for one pound large mouse, if you fish for four pound spots, you know, if you fish for small mouth, this thing is just a do-it-all bait. It really is. So let me just trim off this little bit of excess we got here from the, uh, from the dip. Just trim that off. Take a little lighter and round the end off real quick. I do it. Always done it on my dips. Always round it off. There we go. Good and rounded. And there's the bait. Eyes are perfectly proportioned for it. Trims down. It's just a perfect little minnow, bait fish, shad, baby bass, bluegill, worm. Without the eyes, I can do it in a green pumpkin. There's your best shady head worm around right here crazy it's just crazy how versatile this thing is and then for the paddle sticks if you want it I'm not going to do it to these right here but if you do want it if you're fishing these things in grass because this tail does thump if you're fishing these things around grass or um, thick wood thick heavy cover stuff you know people run these kind of baits through grass all the time I can dip it up to the tail for you so it's just a real thick meaty body you can hook a good size hook into without ripping and it'll just be more durable so these baits are custom guys, I can do them in any color, I can do them dual color. The tails, I can make the tails a different color, make the tail on this thing a different color, I can make the head a different color, do everything guys. But for this bait, the key color right here is Key West. Great for salt water, hence the name Key West. Great for fresh water, great, great to just throw something different. You know, it, it looks like a little shiner, right? 
Emerald Shiner, it represents that a little bit. They all have purple hues. Looks like a bluegill real well. You know, there's so many bait fish that have that purpley hue. It's just a good all around color. Check out the new paddle stick and the brand new original darter today at bigboybaitco.com. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate your business.